Salutations, everybody. Welcome back to Victoria 3 in the Hudson Bay uh, Let's Play tutorial series. So we've got a pretty good construction sector going. We're building away. We're having some trouble with radicals at the moment, but there's not much we can do about that. We've solved our government bureaucracy issue for the moment, and now we are making a huge investment into railroads. And, uh, well, we're building more... Ma furniture manufacturers because it's making us money so long slow progress 82 weeks so basically another year we're getting some nice migrations coming in pop wise our economy is growing although it would be nice if it was going faster most of our money comes from quebec Part of the reason we're constantly struggling with money is we're paying 28k to Great Britain because we're part of their empire. Which is rather frustrating. We've got quite a few isolated regions, but I'm not worried about them right now. Speaking of which, do we have anywhere else we should colonize? Uh, Bogensville. Sure. There's only like two provinces in that area. The Canadian Oceanic Empire. Now the key is, has anyone else gotten malaria control yet? It doesn't look like it, but they do have an expert colonial administrator, unlike my guy. You enjoying Queen Victoria with your 40% colonial growth speed. There we go. The last spike. Canadian Pacific Railway has been completed. We can get five years or we can get five years migration attraction there. I'd say the prairies need the boost. Try and get some uh, more people living out here. Anyway, that's huge, finishing off the railroads. We'll put them on auto expansion. We've got hand-cranked machine guns. Let's get trench works. I love how all of this is just to try and defeat the U.S. in a single war. Eighty-seven weeks there. We're gonna interfere again. Get some glass and furniture manufacturers going. And probably a, a tool workshop, I think. As great as building railroads and everything else is, we need to make sure that we actually are making money. And we're subsidizing the railways right now, which hurts. We're literally buying all these ourselves. Eh, might as well build another one. After all, we have a vast population in Quebec now. Anything we want to change around here? Public health insurance? The industrialists would hate it. Let's move towards cultural exclusion, I think. I'd love to try and keep, prevent huge migrations, but we need some. Ooh, Denmark. They're almost entirely useless. No, in fact, I think I'm going to break my defensive pact with them. As much as, as much as nice as it would be to keep them somewhat on our side, it's not going to help us much. <sighs> uh, 
Minor U.S. fight. Hoping they hit a civil war at some point. Eighty five weeks, yeah. I might just have to sit for a few minutes and just let the construction sectors cut this time down a bit here. Although the sheer prosperity of places like the textile work means they need to keep building more of them. Same thing with another construction sector. We're trying to, of course, centralize the construction sector here to get the biggest bonus. So we're going to need another government admin building because I guess we got another migration coming in. Huge migration out of here. I guess it's because they have no industry. I should probably correct that. Um, what the heck do I want to build here? A chemical plant. Food would be good. Eh, paper mill. Why not? Try and keep some of our population from leaving if we can. I mean, the odds are they'll migrate to Quebec, but... It is popular, po possible to almost entirely centralize your population in one state. Not that that's actually a good plan, but you can. I'm going to throw down a single government level there, though. Just because we're over our taxation capacity. It's not huge, but it will help a bit. Long way to go. Seven years. Oh, we're going to get steel railway cars, though. Modern nursing. Cool. The power of sitting back and not really doing much. I spread. We're actually getting technology faster from spreading due to literacy than anything else. Who'd have thought it? Paper mills in Idaho and everywhere else. Vacuum canning, stills, baking powder. Oh, we gotta ch double check that. Burdery valve engine, paper bleaching, and chemical plants. Let's get some explosives. So much of our wealth is coming from gold mining, it's almost sad. Especially because now we got gold in uh, New Zealand, too. It covers the payment to the UK and a little bit more. That's killing our construction here. Iron again, oh boy. Unfortunately, there's almost nothing we can do to alter iron prices with these. Central Archives done. Does that mean we got a change coming in? Oh. Okay, I guess it didn't register those. 
No, we're good. Okay. It's a little odd, I guess. Secular Academia. Another construction sector. We've got the cash. We build a construction sector. Basically. Simple formula. I think we're going to have enough cash again. So we'll build a second one. Try and get this number of weeks down somewhat. U.S. is hitting... Okay, we're only one-third behind the U.S. now. Oh, the U.S. population... Oh, wow, we're, we're, we're catching up to the U.S. That's funny. Long way to go, but good sign. Hundred and ninety-one battalions, though, is a problem. Oh, let's get Western Australia, because why not? No one else is going to colonize it. We'll take Australia. Great Britain and France are probably a little more concerned with getting Africa at the moment. Speaking of Africa... We have a port, right? Yeah. some point I got to build ports in every of my isolated little colonies, but bigger priorities at the moment. Armenian migration. Aust Canada, the land of immigrants for sure here. Outside of Anglo-Canadian, which is only 27%, we've got a lot of other populations scattered throughout our country. Which is good. Allows us to get more immigrants. Oh, more gold mining in British Columbia. Boy, if you didn't know better, you'd say go to British Columbia, you can mine gold everywhere. Finally getting some of the colony land I set up ages ago built up. Strengthen our navy a bit. I'm actually going to start upgrading our... Military a bit. I don't like it, but if we can start getting our arms industry going, that'll help. And another construction sector, I believe. <clears throat> I think we're good. Huh. See, I rather have the National Guard for the army, but people don't really like that. Universal suffrage, everybody? I think it's probably time for that. Hopefully that doesn't start our revolt. If it does, we stop. Try again in another year. Okay. Here's what we are going for. Now that we got all the industries going and being built up. Now we can actually start uh, specializing a bit. Arts there. Um, I 
We already have most of these being built places, so... Oh, uh, no. Uh, motor. Chemical. Furniture. Glass. Paper. And let's say textiles. Not ideal, but I want every single one of my regions to have at least one type of industry. Ideally, you put one in each state so you can centralize it a bit more, but again, we're still struggling with not a ton of peasants in some of these northern provinces. Mainly because no one wants to live up there. I mean, who would? If they had a choice between there or like lovely British uh, Hudson Bay, Cameroon or even South Island. Who knows? People live everywhere, I guess. Okay, our GDP should start to rise significantly faster now. Still trying to break those landholders. Monopoly on power. Oh. Grassroot enthusiasm. That helps. We're going to probably have to change our military law. Looking at it somehow. Okay, we can only build to level 5 in each of these states, so let's get level 5 built up in every state that we have right now. It's going to raise our cost of uh, running our government. Oh nice, mutual funds are unlocked. That should see a boost to our economy as well. Uh, no, nope. missed there. We're going to have to... Wow, excuse me. We're going to have to militarize our colonies, I think. We'll get the handful of provinces in Canada. <sighs> then we're going to have to build up our government admin as well. Okay, we're going to have some economic problems here for a few minutes, but the bare bones of our industry are solid anyhow, so... We're still going to try and enforce uh, conversion to our primary culture if we can. Less long-term issues. Speaking of which, I don't think our main culture has any... Do they have any obsessions? No taboos and no obsessions. Come on, they couldn't at least give the Canadians a maple syrup obsession, right? Or something like moose jerky, even if it's not in the game. One positive of this is our arms industry should at some point become more productive. And I forgot to make everything we can publicly traded. So why do you make everything publicly traded, right? Because usually it's a loss of money. Well, because it takes the power away from... It basically gives more employment to capitalists. And the more capitalists you have, the less money... Uh, or rather, the more power capitalists have, the less you have to worry about landholders. To some degree. It's not that simple, but you can kind of think of it that way. 
Sadly, unlike Victoria 2, you can't just make it publicly traded and take your hands off the economy. We still have to run it. For some reason, chemical and motor, you unlock being able to make them publicly traded long before you can actually make them publicly traded. Independent artists with realist art. I think we're good now. Yep. So hopefully, given time, that will start to increase our investment pool. There we go. Okay, we've got all that going. Rights of women, let's make them propertied rather than uh, owned by men, basically. Get some women's suffrage going. Get more workforce. Two hundred and thirty-five. We're going to need a great power to help us break the U.S., barring obviously a civil war. They have a professional army, meaning they can just build as many barracks as they want, basically. Be nice to have a professional army. Well, we're ranked 11 in the world in GDP. We're right behind Spain. Population, we're 17th. See, steam donkeys, yes. Desires more coal, but gets cost less to employ. Probably getting close to making the change to push um, more railroads. So increase transportation. This button that you can't do automatic expansion on gold mines just in gold fields is a little frustrating. Oh, kind of nice. Okay. Get all those factories going. They're not all going to be making money, but at least they're working, you know? Having them built is way more important than not having them built. They can always become productive later. Being the logic. We have 60 troops. The U.S. has 238 under Jublal Blant, who's a bigoted diplomatic and political operator. And we're still three years away from trench works. Oh, and we're losing 25k a month. All good things. We've got the right setup, so. To be fair, in terms of fighting the U.S., our 60 troops, if they're trench infantry, should do decently well versus the U.S., Especially if we can get another great power. We just gotta hope they don't have something better than us. Someone else is building tons of artillery on the British market. We're not gonna try and break free from Great Britain right now, for sure. Um, Although, looking at it, we'd almost have just as good a chance of breaking free from Great Britain as the U.S. in some ways. Propertied women. Okay. Women can now own property. At some point, we'll move them further down that list, but we'll let the anger over our change die down first. Let's move from hereditary to... 
Uh, the landowners would hate it, so we're not going to do that. Probably towards appointed for now. Let's solve our economic issue first. Uh, government admin's expensive. That must mean paper's high. No, oh, paper's low. Interesting. So the cool part is now we've pretty much got a functioning economy. Although, obviously, we're losing money. That'll slowly change. Oh, nice. Identification documents. Almost got us 4k more. Better and more taxation, I guess. I think I'm going to wait to develop my colonies a little bit longer here. Spain is giving me a defensive pact. Okay, they're a major power, so that's a good agreement to have. I have no more decisions, no more events. At the moment. Don't want to head towards free trade. Okay, well. We're now ranked 10th in the world, which is pretty impressive considering what we were working with. We're right behind, well, Spain and the British Raj at the moment. So considering the difference in our GDP and population, I'd say we're doing well. So hopefully next episode we'll get closer to fighting the U.S. for the rest of Canada, but we'll see. Thank you guys all for watching. Hopefully it's helped you, and I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.